Hi, it's Jess here at Sun Valley Trading Co with the Cowboy Leather Machines. Today we're going to do a demonstration on what to expect when you take delivery of your new machine. Obviously, it's pretty exciting. You have this big black box that's landed on your doorstep and they're pretty heavy so you don't want to be moving this too far. But if we start unwrapping, we'll be able to see what's inside. Yours will probably have more core fluid than that and more bubble wrap. This is just a demo so we've gone a little bit on the sticky side. They will be well packaged when they're going on the truck. Also, some of them will come with the machine head in its polystyrene inside a cardboard box if we've been able to fit it underneath the pedals here. This is your box with needles, thread, chain, all sorts of goodies in there. And then your thread stand. The head and the table are both screwed to the pallet with roofing screws. So to get it off, you might need a little attachment like this for your impact driver. In your box, there will be four screws, both for attaching the machine to the table. Since the head is pretty heavy, you may want to get someone else to help you with it. It's also a good idea to put the brakes on the table so it doesn't roll away. Some machines won't sit there that balanced and you need to hold them while you attach the box. This is the Cowboy 227R machine, which is on the smaller end of leather sewing machines. They're not only for leather though, you can use them for canvas, stiff fabrics, there's foam in between them, webbing. The belt may be in the box or it may be still on the pulley. To attach it to the machine, use if the machine has a head that tilts back. Just undo this fastener here and tilt the head back. Otherwise, you might need to do it before you put the bolt. The belt just goes into this groove and the pulley on the head. And down here in the speed reducer, there's also a groove for the belt to sit in. It should be all adjusted right from when we've tested it, but if something has moved in transit, the belt may not be tight and you'll need to adjust it at the speed reducer. I'll do a specific video on adjusting the speed reducer though. In your box, there will also be a chain for attaching the pedal to the lever for lifting the foot if that's specific to your machine. We we'll just drop the chain down this hole here towards the lever, the foot pedal, attach it 
to this lever here, which joins down here to the presser foot, and then underneath, just lift the pedal to a fairly upright position. Some of them will come with de-shackles for this. The bottom line that sits beside the machine. The screws will already be in the table. You need to take them out. And slip the bottom winder on there. It has these slots so that it's easily located. You need to have it in a position when, when it's on, this wheel has pressure against the belt because that's how it's driven. So something like that should be alright. and nut underneath and do it up tight you might want to use a spare or a shift to just to get it tight and then this one just goes in here And this screw here it's tightened up. Then you can put your thread on. We'll do a specific threading video, but in general it just goes up here. Then your machine will come with some thread on it so you can get the picture of the pattern. Basically, it just goes over here. And then a few loops around here. Then we go over this tension disc and then around this tension disc to the thread take up lever. And then back down again towards the needle. We go through this little hole at the top of the needle clamp. And then through the needle from left to right. 